don't stop. Press the gas into my engine pop. Then I'm done. Max out my Toyota, then they drop. Tick tock. Hey, I'm not trying to do this as much as I can without a script or some written down like pointers and stuff. Just to see how far I can get before I'm like, uh, shoot, okay. But what was that I was gonna say? <laughs> yeah, let's get started. And what would any vlogger channel update be without the trademark that is the tag? Y'all know, fam. Anyone watching this? Y'all know it. If you're here on my channel, y'all know what's up. Love you, my name. You know what's coming next? We the mother. Bomb squad! <laughs> yeah, I just love saying that shit out loud because, you know, I'm goddamn awesome and, uh, yo, I'm hella good at making noise. But before I get into the video, which is something that is probably gonna be a little less toned down, or a little more toned down. Yeah, more toned down. The way I think I want it to go. Yeah, anyway, before all that, did anyone see the intro? Well, of course it did, because it's the first thing that came on before the rest of this goddamn video. Ooh, <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> Yo, for real though, did anyone notice the intro, the absolutely dope as hell intro that I had right before this came on? I'll just realize I said came really weird right there. Screw it. <laughs> yeah, so basically where that derived from was the boy, Dragonator of a Fighter over here. He basically came to me one day and he was like, yo, I want to make you an intro. And I was like, sure, hey, I mean, I never had an intro on my videos before, so hey, screw it. I mean, let's try it out, you know? Like, like the idea of it got me so god damn high. Like, hashtag hype all across the screen right now. <laughs> like, dude, like, I was literally like, I saw that comment and I was like, oh, hell yeah, bruh. You know you've made it when people come out for an intro to you. <laughs> okay, I'm really trying to film myself, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, but for real, like, I mean, he came to me with that idea, and I was like, honestly, I was just so grateful, fam, for real. Like, so, basically, um, I'm planning on making that intro, the intro to every single vlog I put out every second week, and then I can just have the normal music drops every other week, but no intro, and then, yeah, it's working out kind of basis, because then, um, that thing's absolutely goddamn lit, and... Dragonator, I know you're watching this right now. I am so goddamn grateful. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that means my videos can somewhat look a bit more legit. I can't promise that they will. Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. So um, yeah, much love to you. Your link is most definitely down in the description below. And then, yeah, I know who wants to check them out, show them love, and maybe even get into from their channel. Y'all know where to find them. Real talk. Now, moving on swiftly from that, we got another update coming. Well, not more of an update, more of an... Um, okay, so... <laughs> you might have remembered a few weeks back, your boy was tagged in the video like ages before that, but I only put the, video, the tag video out like there recently. Yeah, so basically I got called out to do another tag. And not only that, I got called out twice. Thank you. <laughs> Can't play. So, in the first video, I got called out by my dude, Random Nation. Which is cool, I saw his video, and then like literally a few days later, I was called out by my dude in Oz, Australia, for all of my Australian homies out there. Homies, because apparently I'm from the hood now. <laughs> yeah, but um, I got called out by my dude, Trends Plays. I'll put his channel there. Both of their links will also be down in the description. <laughs> I noticed what I said that last time I called a few heads. <laughs> yeah, but then... Um, Basically, they called me out to do what is known as the hero tag. Basically, what the hero tag is, right? It's about maybe... No, it's, it's not even a maybe. <laughs> it's about showing love to the person you consider your hero. So that could mean a celebrity. That could mean a musician. That could mean somebody you know in real life. Or that could mean yourself, like me, because I'm goddamn awesome. I'm my own hero. Like, end the video right now. Boom. <laughs> but then, um, yeah, for real. So... Basically, the hero is the person you look up to, and the person that basically gives you the the drive, or someone you wake up being grateful for in your life, if that makes sense. And I knew straight away who my hero's gonna be as soon as I was tired by both of them. However, one thing I only thought about now, recording this goddamn video, is I forgot that I had so many heroes. <laughs> like, I mean, I can literally, like, List about like 20,000 people right off the bat like that. Well, not 20,000 because I don't know 20,000 people, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, so I can list about 20 people off the bat about like who would be my hero and whatever else. But then, yeah, so basically that's what the hero tag is. And that is what I'm about to get into. So 
Come into my mind. Delve a little deeper into the way I think. <laughs> God damn, this is gonna look so weird to like anyone who doesn't know me or like some or even people who do do know me in real life and they were like, Tommy, why are you getting all close to the camera? That's weird, dude. <laughs> oh well, story of my life. <laughs> right, so yeah, the person I wanna talk about as my hero, like I said, is me because I'm a goddamn beast. That's why. Screw it. <laughs> now I'm playing. Okay, so the personality you see in every video, uh, replying in the comments, go on to your videos, and the person I am right now, basically. <laughs> well, obviously the person I am right now. Again. I don't even know what I'm going on with that anymore, but anyway, um, I purposely like, didn't like plan out how I was going to say this because I wanted it to be more heartfelt, so Bomb Squad, I'm sorry, it's going to be more feels in this one than anything else, I think. Probably not, it's going to be as cringy as ever. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, but um, my hero is someone who basically was one of the first people to accept me for being me in the sense that where I'm from, the community is very closed-minded, we'll say. Basically, if you're not following a background of doing one thing and one thing only, then you're looked at as an outcast. Which, honestly, I've been like in this place for years, so I'm stuck with it now as... Honestly, y'all are the ones missing out! <laughs> oh no, please! <laughs> but then, um, yeah. He was one of the first people that made me realize that it's okay to stick out like a sore thumb. Um, <laughs> you'll probably expect me to turn around now and be like, Yeah, sorry guys, turns out I'm a dragon, I'm about to fly away. Who's? <laughs> no, and basically, as far as I know of, and I've been here like 15, 16 odd years, <laughs> as far as I know of, there's like not really anyone else around here in my village or town or whatever that is into making like rap music, I guess. If you want to like put it into that category, because I know there is like other music going on about the place, but you know where I'm going with that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so basically, I was always looked at as like the weird one or that one white guy who was trying to act black his whole life, because apparently here, if um, if you want to rap, then that means you want to be black, because apparently it hasn't came over to our like city or a town or whatever, whatever way you want to look at it or whatever you want to call it, even that um, yo. The world is a more open-minded place, and you don't exactly have to be of a certain skin color to make rap music, or even any other music for that matter, like uh, tribal and um, traditional Irish music, uh, pop music, um, even K-pop. Like, you don't need to be a certain color to be accepted to make music in, in today's world, and I absolutely love the way things have gone. Like, hell yes to the way things are going, and hell yes to people becoming more socially acceptable or whatever, and, and more accepting of each other. And you, watching this right now, if you're one of those people that still have that mind frame about like, oh man, I don't know, like, you know what I mean, like, that, that, all that, like, that old-headedness, bruh, we're in a new world right now, and people are saying change is bad, the new world order is gonna take over the world, the world whatever, but honestly, the way the world's going right now, I'm honestly so grateful for it, and coming coming into this YouTube game, I have never met such dope, amazing people, so I'm like just honestly so grateful with the way culture is going, and people are becoming more accepting or whatever, but anyway, that's for another video, that's besides the point, and basically I was always looked at as that wager, uh, <laughs> basically growing up in the, the place I'm from, so because I want to make rap music or because I was even into rap to begin with. So that was kind of like a running joke for a while, which I'll admit, I mean, as a kid I was a lot more insecure than I am now. So this person who is my hero, him along with a few other people in my family, um, or even like, uh, along with a few other people that I'm actually like really close to, like um, my girlfriends that I had, uh, my family, like <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. Okay, no. People in real life will know who I'm talking about when they see this video. Um, yeah, but basically, he was one of the first people to really make me feel at ease in myself. And he was basically one of the first people to walk in on myself having a recording session. <laughs> it has happened way more times than I'd like to admit, having people walking in while I'm recording music or whatever, but screw it, I'm past that. <laughs> and yeah, he was one of the first people to walk in and like just take it as if it was absolutely nothing. Whereas in the past, with people walking in, like, I would have been cringing for the next week, and truthfully, 
The people who walked in <laughs> would have been cringing for the next six months. Just saying. <laughs> it's it, it's all good now though. I mean, I'm the MVP of the family now, so screw it. Sorry guys. <laughs> no, I'm playing. And but yeah, he was basically one of the, the first people to walk in and treat it as if it was absolutely nothing. Like I didn't even know at the time until I finished recording the, the verse in question. Like I felt the air in the room change and I had my back to the door. But um, yeah, when I was all like done and like said and whatever else, I saw like he was like, oh yo, and um, we're doing whatever else, and, uh, and yo, whenever you're ready. And I was like, alright, cool. And basically, like, like that wasn't even spoken about or brought up like ever again for the next like year and a half. And I was the one who actually ended up bringing it about because I spend a lot of time with this person. I used to travel around the country with them a fair bit before now, but like, I mean. Circumstances change and whatever else and yeah, so he was one of the first people that I came in full confidence to about like Okay, um, I'm back making music because I used to and then I stopped because of insecurities and then I went back at it help for leather just you know head down. Let's go for it like he was one of the first people that I came to in confidence about it just like here blah blah, blah I'm doing me this on the map whatever and Instead of getting judged like I thought it would, he was like, Okay, that's cool. I'm glad you have something that you enjoy doing. And from that moment on, he was one of the first people that like, I felt like more of a connection to than I had in in years, I guess. And um, I like from that moment onwards we just grew closer and like it gave me the confidence to, you know, save the rest of the family and even people in real life now they're like but I talk about music as if it's absolutely nothing instead of being afraid for being the oddball or the, the odd one out sticking out like a sore thumb and um, god damn about getting my feels right now <laughs> and yeah so he basically was one of the first people that made me feel more at ease with myself and I know you're probably watching this right now like I mean what you make music big deal trust me where I'm from the people have about as open a mind as a millimeter gap. I'm just saying. And if people want to come at me in real life for this, by all means, y'all know where to find me, but it's the truth and you know it. Um, <laughs> okay, now your boy be on that devious-ish. <laughs> and yeah, so he was one of the first people that made me realize that like, you know what, I'm not a running joke. I'm a, hu a human being, I'm an individual uh, who enjoys doing what he's doing. And you know what? I'm a goddamn beast! Hell yeah! And I mean, from that moment onwards, that's where the foundation of the atomic bomb that you see today has been built. So, to my hero, to one of the first people that made me realize that it was okay to be myself and just because I'm into different hobbies or different interests in general, um, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and I really hope you do see this video. So without further ado, I want to tell everyone my hero is my grandfather. Okay, and anyway, yeah, <laughs> I want to get past all that sloppy ish before this becomes a goddamn like someone get a violin playing in the background of the video kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, but then um, yeah, so he is my hero. He's he's one he's one of my biggest heroes. I got I got a lot of heroes in the family and in in the rest of my life, but he is most definitely one of my biggest heroes and one of my biggest influences. And yeah, he's basically. One of the main reasons that I'm here today doing what I'm doing. So, thank you, Granddad, and, and I love you. Alright! Moving past that! <laughs> Before this gets into, like, like I said about the violin and all that crap. And um, yeah, so the second part of this tag was that I got to tag two people to do the tag and talk about their heroes. So, uh, my choices were gonna be the same as the good tag, and um, my sad and uh, short out my dudes, because. They're my dudes! Everyone has their people, everyone has their click, those two are my dudes. <laughs> um, yeah, so it turns out I'm still waiting for them to do their good tag videos. So, that gives me the chance to tag two new people that I've never really tagged before properly on this channel. I have mentioned them both twice. What do I say I've mentioned them both twice? I don't know how many times I've mentioned them. <laughs> yeah, but I have mentioned them before and I'm gonna bring up their names now to do the tag because truthfully I feel like they'll actually do the tag and who am I to bring up people who won't do the tag and end up breaking the goddamn thing, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, but I am. Okay, so, those two people are... 
finish, 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 clear my throat before I end up like, but sound like this on camera. <laughs> yes, yeah, so those two people are Mr. Perfect. Dude, get your ass on that. You be hella activated and dropping videos at the center, and I want to see you do the sad. I want to see you brought down to earth, because, like I said before, you're my bitch. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> yeah, so. Mr. Perfect, and then I'm a dude DB. I used to like rap a dude way back in the day. You might remember. <laughs> Hi, you might remember me from such songs as. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've done um, a couple of songs with them, like um, Can't Form and the All We Know collab with uh, Short App. But um, yeah, basically, I haven't really done much work with them lately, and yeah, I want to keep him in the game too. So, DB, Mr. Perfect, get working on your hero tags. And yeah, help me not look like I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. Cause I don't. <laughs> hey yo, real talk though. Thank you for watching this however long minutes of crap that has been spewing out of my mouth. And I promise to end the video like sooner rather than later. Because like I said, uh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> yeah, but then yo, shout out to all the links down in the description. Of that is uh, Dragonator Over Fighter, Random Nation, uh, Maxad, Short App, DB, Trends Plays, and Mr. Perfect. And then yeah. Uh, Thank you for tagging me in this. I feel like this is something that made me come down to earth a bit more and I guess like show a more... I was gonna say vulnerable, but it's not even that. It's just more, more of a personal side of myself. And then, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. And, yeah. And, I love you guys as always. <laughs> Alright, Bomb Squad. Y'all know what's up. Hashtag Bomb Squad in the comments right now. Just so I know I still got a fam going. <laughs> Alright, yo. Much love. Remember to Comment, like, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff, because I'm sure there'll be subscribe and Instagram links and all that kind of stuff down in the description if I'm actually smart enough to remember to put it in, because I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Again. Okay, I'm gonna end this. I'm just talking this right now. <laughs> I, uh, much love. Stay blessed, y'all. Peace! Bomb Squad! Let's go!